a v ellie golding i don't this i'm not really that bothered about uh, because i don't really want to uh, buy into the whole like drama thing that's happening on YouTube because I think this guy Jack Mate from checking up on this um, random shit I've seen on YouTube, he generally kind of loves to swim or uh, in that uh, river of you know constant controversy on the internet. He's sort of like the UK version of drama alert, I'd assume for the most part. Again, this is only from just general um, research, kind of checking out some of his videos. But um, this Jack Mate dude is on YouTube. He's quite big on YouTube, quite popular on there. Um, he's always kind of having some sort of firefight with some uh, with. Um, some um influencer on youtube he seems to kind of uh take up umbrage with some of the influence who are kind of you know there's a there's a lot of shady businesses happening with a lot of these youtube people um who kind of sell merch and kind of you know um you know siphon off funds from young and impressionable audiences so jack mate kind of takes it upon himself to kind of be the custodian of that and always always calling them out sometimes you know it can be funny sometimes it can be a little bit you know cringy it can sometimes get a bit a little bit weird that this guy is kind of taking so much time out of his day to kind of get annoyed by things that most people don't really give a shit about but i guess that's the whole point of fighting these kind of wars some people don't care about them until you kind of bring them to light but i thought this beef he had with ellie golding was quite funny because it's such a random kind of um beef to kind of be involved in i saw his article on the metro about it and i don't know where it kind of started from i don't know why a random youtuber has beef with ellie golding of all people you wouldn't necessarily think ellie golding is somebody that's going to be um um you know with the shits in general but reading these quotes it sounds like she's really really with the shits so um this article is from the metro uh jack may and ellie golding have got beef and everyone is confused of course i hope I, 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 i'm hoping that wasn't the only one right so i'll put this up on the screen here uh youtuber jack may and ellie golding have got into a twitter spat and it ended up getting a bit brutal popcorn at the ready it all started three years ago when ellie inexplicably tweeted Jack saying, at Jack, I could fight you and win. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Imagine Ellie Golden just tweeting at you randomly one day. I'm assuming she either stumbled upon one of these videos where he was hating on some um, young kid on YouTube, right? Because these kids on YouTube, they're a bit cookie cutter. Um, you know, they're fairly inoffensive. So when somebody like a Jack mate, who's, you know, a fairly older dude is kind of, you know, pillaring on them from the outside looking in, it can look like, what the fuck's going on, man? Why are you doing this, man? He's, this guy is just about positivity and you're out here blambassing them. It can look a little bit nuts, but when you dig in deeper, you can sometimes find some um, justifications why Jack mate's kind of like, you know, um, haranguing on these young kids. But I guess from the outside looking in, especially if you're um, a star or a celebrity like Ellie Golding, who kind of is subjected to some online hate too, and you're seeing this dude picking, you know, punching down, quote unquote, it can maybe kind of rile you up. So I'm assuming she probably stumbled on it um, that way. Or I'm assuming Jack mate said some offhanded comment about Ellie Golding's music being shit, and then she kind of, you know, went off it um that's embarrassing so a few days ago jack threw shade at ellie's performance in the x-factor final saying she's fucking dreadful and all afterwards a viewer said that afterwards a viewer said what we were all thinking quoting ellie's original tweet adding screw care sign logan to jack mate v ellie golding is what people want it would be over in seconds ellie responded not worth favoring airing <laughs> ellie golding really thinks she could beat up this guy that's mad you know um she's really fit though to be honest i remember she lost a bunch of weight um a few years ago and she got fucking ripped to shred i don't know if it was all calisthenic work or if she was hitting pads and doing muay thai but she looks fucking she looks really really fit so they I, I don't know who would win but i'm assuming from the way jack mate talks about stuff and you know his generally whiny voice and the way he gets really annoyed at um kids that are selling merch and maybe doing it in a really bad way or not the way he wants to do i'd assume ellie golden would probably bang him Especially because Ellie Golden performs live a lot, right? She's always performing at these Capital One Extra kind of like shitty festival stuff, right? That, you know, for the most part, no one really listens to that music unless you're li um, driving a car. But, you know, she's on stage for, you know, a good amount of time, uh, week after week you know, performing, you know, um, singing a cappella and all that shit with no backing track. Like, she probably has the the, the endurance to definitely outlast him. And I'm assuming MMA-wise, especially, especially if she's doing Muay Thai, if she's been doing Muay Thai, if she kicks, if she kicks him once, the fight's over. Because, you know, anyone that's done Muay Thai first will know, like, you know, the first time you do Muay Thai, if someone kicks you, you know, like, your whole world changes. Um, the article continues, um, 
Uh, from then on, it escalated a bit quickly. Jack replied three years late, and Ellie Golding still reckons she could knock me out. You're not wrong, Ellie Golding. Just tie me to a stall and make me listen to your tunes. <laughs> so she was, you know, a funny reply, to be honest. Uh, basic response from a basic twat the 31 year old singer wrote before deleting the tweet. Uh, however, being the. And again, why people delete tweets, man? Just leave it up, man. The guy, if he's, the guy is a twat to you right like he's being a twat i don't think anyone would read that thread and not say she's not justified no no one from the twat national society is going to be um uproar that you're you know using the word twat if jack may is being a twat to you just you know he's being a twat um however uh being a respectful guy he is jack screenshot the tweet and her response for anyone who didn't want to to miss out on the drama um getting called a basic from somebody whose top lyrics are so you love me <laughs> love you do love 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 me like you do love me like you do love 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 me like you do <laughs> and we're gonna get it burn 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 we're gonna burn 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 gonna burn 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 etc jack is funny guy though he <laughs> is funny <laughs> She deleted her tweet, so for anyone that missed it, here it is. Um, Jack hit back, getting called the, the 25 year old added, never thought I'd see the day I'm getting spanked, I'm being sparked out by Ellie Golding. Us neither, Jack, but here we are. As you as you can imagine, fans of both sides were a little confused by the entire thing. They're not the only ones. Fucking beef, Ellie v. Jack boxing match one tweeted. Another said, someone needs to turn the simulation off and then on again. Yeah, definitely agree with that. That's a very strange beef. Not sure what's happening there overall. Um, I would, I would like to, I would, ima I would like to imagine, you know, if I was a guy, I think the first thing I would say is that I don't think any guy should argue with women online in general. I think it's you're always on a losing game. Um, I think that's one thing my dad um kind of stressed in me when I was younger, like not to fight with, not to fight girls physically or verbally. I think you know, you, there's, there's no, there's no amount of justification you can make that's gonna, you know, that's gonna resonate with anyone. Um, a girl can call you anything under the sun. You, the moment you hit her, you've immediately lost the argument. A girl can call you anything you want under the sun, but the moment you're shouting with a girl across the street that isn't your girlfriend, you look fucking nuts. Um, and in general, too, um, women are just far better at arguing than guys are because you know we have to, you know, we have the we have the ability to resort to physical violence when things are getting a little bit too crazy. Women don't necessarily. They um, usually diminish each other through damage reputation, through um, uh, damaging each other's reputation. That's by saying shit so in general women just are far better at kind of cutting and saying really mean things to us than we are back to them and just in general yeah, i just think it just looks fucking nuts arguing with a girl online it just looks fucking crazy um and again i don't think someone like a jack may is gonna care because i think his business by by and large is centered around being like um outspoken and speaking up about issues that no one really cares about and kind of bringing them to light and fighting the good fight you know sort of thing in in his regard but i just think it's such a losing game fighting a girl online especially a girl that's kind of threatened to beat you up that's fucking nuts you look you look at the biggest pussy in the world just like you know again what he said was funny but you just look nuts right and it's like okay so what, what what's the alternative let's fight you look nuts by just saying the words let's fight let's set it up like promote a set up a fight and who's going to sanction a fight between a boy and a girl anyway, regardless who's going to sanction it even if um um ellie golding was a two-time um muay thai kickboxing champion when she was younger no one would sanction this fight against a dude and a girl it's fucking nuts but yeah um i saw that online i thought wow what a crazy world we live in at the moment but i guess you know if you're a youtuber you kind of got to get clicks wherever you can get them so i'm assuming this is probably going to be good uh promo for jackmate regardless anyway